Hello and welcome to the very first tech talk of the 2023 Formula One season. And we're here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Joining me, Hello, I Anna. think he's the science teacher you always wished you had. He's called himself Hello. the technical crazy guy, somewhere in the middle, Albert Fabregat. Yeah. Welcome along nice. to Bahrain. Nice to meet you again. And Laura. it's great to see yeah, you. And today we are talking about the floor of the car. Do you remember this? Yes, porpoising. It very much dominated the headlines last yep. year, a number of teams really suffering with it. Yep. This year, for 2023, the FIA have raised the minimum floor height by 15 millimetres to try and eradicate, to try and minimise this porpoising. So far, from the few sessions we've had, it looks like it's certainly working. So the floor is where we start our technical talk here today. Yep, and we're going to see how the floor of the cars, what they do under the cars that we don't see, and why they take advantage of the speed to generate downforce, to generate a vacuum, a low pressure under the car that sucks the car against the floor that creates the car to be to have more stability, to have more grip on track. But everything depends on a physics, as always. There's ma not magic here. The engineers have studied and working a lot on physics. And part of the aerodynamics, physics, and whatever all the engineers are applying to the cars is coming thanks to this guy. Our friend here. Yeah. What a guy. Who is he? Tell us. Mr. Bernoulli. Mr. Bernoulli. He's yeah. a Swiss engineer, right? Yes. Okay. 18th century, so more than almost 300 <laughs> years ago. He was playing already with the hydraulics and the fluids, and he did something like this. That is an equation that it means. Uh, well, it doesn't I, matter. I a lot of numbers have and, no idea and what letters. That means. I have no idea what they mean. <laughs> but at the end of the day. They do an equation saying that when you increase the speed of a fluid, let's say the air, the pressure goes down. We are creating a low pressure area. And when you are slowing down the speed of the air, the pressure goes up, goes back to where it was. But you see, it's gonna, we're going to use this to do one okay. thing. Okay. Now, what do you think that will happen if I blow air on the top of the paper? It Surely, will... if you blow air on top, you're blowing it down. Down. He's not happy with that. He disagrees no. with me. Let's try. I was never very good at physics or maths. It's a little bit windy, so it's going to be difficult to try. But try and block it out. If I blow the air on top, so I increase the speed on top of the paper, it's going up. It raises up. It raises up because the pressure is going down, so we're creating a low pressure that is sucking the paper up. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? That's it's the so counterintuitive. Of the One. To, we can exactly. Go. It's, it's the we floor of the car. We can cancel all the wind tunnels and the CFD. <laughs> That's it. We've solved story. it. There yeah. we go. But let it go. Let, let's go and see what's going on under the floor of the cars. Here we are. That's a Mercedes last year floor. And we can see that these tunnels are just pushing the air out of the car. This is the front, this is the rear. And these tunnels are pushing the air out of the car. We don't want to talk about that. We are going to talk about all these area here, starting from the tunnels that we can see in front of the car, that are pushing the air down under the car, a central area in the middle that more or less is flat, but is lower, and from here onwards we have what we call the diffuser, that is ramping up, so it's going pra practically more or less where it was. So what we do have here, let's take this picture from the Alpine, we have the air the beginning of the floor with something like, if we could cut it, cut it, something like this. Flat area here and then the diffuser going up to the, end, the rear end of the car. So Brilliant, okay. That's it. And you see, same size of my, exactly. my new toy. I'm always so impressed with your props. <laughs> so The toys you bring along. We are not going to do a, a wind tunnel, okay. but we are trying to demonstrate with a very simple thing how the uh, increasing the speed of the air is generating downforce on the car. So okay. this is a tunnel, it's completely closed, and I have put some anemometers like this, that is nothing else than a machine that is measuring the wind speed. So, if I blow, you see? 1.9, 3.3, .3. I see, yeah. I'm stronger, I'm going yeah, to the gym ones. now, and I, I start <laughs> feeling the difference. So, you've had some good pre-season testing. Yeah, I've placed three. And the start, when the okay. tunnel is starting, in mm -hmm. the middle, where we have the lower point yep. on the floor, and in the diffuser, okay? I have my blower, you remember my blower I do, from I last do, year. Very that's, well. that's efficiency. We are keeping <laughs> that for already 20 races. And what I create this is like the wind tunnel to try to laminate the air. Because it's very difficult to repeat. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this will work. Don't try at home. But 
I'm trying to uh, make a, as close as possible to a, a wind tunnel. And of course we have that blower. That okay, it's switched on. Yeah. Here we go. Is we need to switch on the... Okay, so first of all, to, to see that the, the, the thing is working, we have put the floor practic more or less flat. Yeah. So the air is coming in and it's more or less, we are not excusing the air yet. Read the measures of the speed of the air now. 3.5 on here, 3.6, 4.6 here. So more as or it's less, squeezed, more or less, yeah, but not, not, not that much yet. Yep. And more or less, 3.5. So well, back one to meter, meter of, yep. uh, per second, more or less, is quite similar. How can we measure if we start moving the floor, the right head of the floor to speed the air? How can we measure if we are generating downforce? I'm sure you've got. With this. Something brilliant to show us. This is, is a pipe. If I create a low downforce, if I suck in the ball going up. So, very easy. I have three different tubes. Okay, you can choose which one you prefer for me to start. There's no trick here. Middle one. Middle Let's one. Give it the middle. Put this in the middle, then I stick it in the middle next to the speed measure sensor. This one front or rear? Front. Let's front? go front. Okay. Let's put it in the front. Uh, that's going to break soon. Okay. <laughs> and the last one in the diffuser. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is to start playing with the right hands of the floor. Let's say that, not yet, don't press it yet. I'm going to try to go down with the floor in the middle and keeping the right heights of the entry. So the it's lower here. It's yeah. lowering, so mm -hmm. we're excusing the air. Mm -hmm. and we have the expansion with the diffuser. Okay. We're rising up. And now, let's see what we can get if we blow the air. Oh, the ball's moving up. Yeah. It's you literally see? being sucked up yeah. from the bottom of the tube. And, and can you read the speeds if they increase? We have 5.5 .5 here, 5.8 here. Yeah. And 4.1 here. increased that This is increased, yeah. Okay. So, let's go a little bit more further on. So we're lowering it now even further. Lowering even more. Lowering even more the floor. So you see now, we have put the central air a little bit lower. Yeah. And we see it's that dropped. still creating the downforce yes. because there's still the ball on top. But can you read the speeds now? We've got 9.3 here, 9.1, 2 and 5.8. So it's changing a bit. So yes. we're increasing a lot the speed on the center of the of the floor yeah. and do you know what happens if we go either even a little bit more further on if we go up to the floor and try to recreate what it's called for poising what happens when we go even a little bit more lower i was going to say it's going to collapse that's it's what collapsed. we were seeing last year and you can see the ball is to the bottom yes because you see if we arrive a position yeah, this one's where open. we are collapsing the floor, yeah. the downforce or the suction of the lost. floor is going down, it's lost. So it means that the car will rise up because of the springs are pushing mm -hmm. the car and whenever we recover the right head of the floor, we have a, another time the suction. Okay. You see, the low exactly. pressure is coming back. So it stays in the middle of the straight doing like this. And just 15 millimeters for this season is enough to minimize this porpoising, isn't it? Well, what the FIA has done is to try to rise up the edge of the floor and the throat of the diffuser, these areas, in order that when the teams reach... Let me try to fix that. Okay. When the teams reach the lower point of the car, there's a still gap yes. to don't lose that downforce. And what they basically done, we're still having the ball on the top now. Yeah. We're still generating downforce, a little bit on the diffuser. Yes. The, the areas where you create more, more downforce is at the beginning of the flat area and the kick zone, that is where the downforce, uh, when the diffuser starts. If we open a 15 millimeters gap here, we should see that the ball is going down. Yeah. What does it mean? That it's more difficult to seal completely the floor and generate this downforce. You see, the ball is going up because there is a lot of air going in and we are disrupting the uh, proper 
work of the diffuser. But do you know how the teams are trying to arrange and to make up this negative effect for the downforce? With Vortex. They are trying to seal the flow with Vortex. Before that, you know, in the 80s, they put the skirts to seal the, yeah. the uh, diffuser and the flow. So what they do is they take air here, they take more air, and they generate vortices around the downforce areas, like something like this, to keep the downforce again. You see, a vortex that can seal completely the diffuser and the flow. They blow out here. It is a brilliant and they have representation again. of it. Ah, it's going down. OK. Sometimes works, sometimes don't. Well, here it is. No, that's brilliant. You can literally see downforce ground effect in action and understand, of course, why the FIA have raised that minimum floor height by 15 millimetres. It eradicates porpoising and it allows teams to find other ways to generate that speed and performance. You see the diffuser? It changed a lot. OK. It's going there now. You can play around Don't with this all day, couldn't you? Don't try at home. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Sorry, Mr. Granoli. I'm sorry. Well, Albert, thank you so much. Thank it's you. brilliant, brilliant to see it all in action. Sometimes works, sometimes 90% done. But nice to see.